There is no better way to trick out your PC than to make the switch from HDD to SSD. Technically, this won't improve the PC's gaming performance, although it will significantly reduce load times and make the PC overall much faster. Remember how fast everything was when you first installed Windows? Well, imagine that only all the time and even faster. Seriously though, we don't think we can overstate just how much more pleasant using your PC will be with an SSD, regardless of what you're using it for. And to make sure the SSD SSD you'll be putting inside your PC is the best of the best, here's a list of the best models 2019 has to offer. So without any further ado, let's begin. Samsung may be known for their Galaxy brand of smartphones, but the impressive product catalog of this Korean giant also features some of the most popular SSDs ever. The Samsung 850 EVO was a smash hit, but its successor, the 860 EVO, is even better. It's available in 5 storage options that increase exponentially from 250GB to 4TB, with a pretty decent price per gigabyte. The read and write speeds are about the average you should expect for this price range, which may not seem all that enticing, but remember, they're still miles ahead of any HDD. Still, what sets the 860 EVO apart the most has got to be the 5-year manufacturer warranty that it comes with. You should still remember to make backups of all the really important personal data you have, but this largely gets rid of the biggest problem SSDs have compared to HDDs, which is their shorter lifespan. It may very well not be fit for a professional workstation user when it comes to performance, but we don't think any gamer will find it lacking in this regard. Now, if you're a professional workstation user and need the best possible performance, look no further than the Samsung 960 Pro. It comes in the form of a small, inconspicuous card, but don't let this fool you. The 960 Pro is to all the other SSDs on this list what a regular SSD is to HDDs, with a mind-boggling write speed of 2100 megabytes per second. That's roughly four times faster than the 860 EVO, and the read speed is even higher. This insane level of performance is made possible thanks to NVMe technology and the M.2 slot. But as you may imagine, this comes with some drawbacks as well, the biggest of which is the limited storage capacity. The 960 Pro is available only in 512GB, 1TB and 2TB options. And of course, we mustn't forget the price. The price per gigabyte of the 960 Pro is roughly double that of the 860 EVO, which is just one of the reasons why we only recommend recommend this to the most demanding users. Western Digital is one of the few manufacturers whose SSD outings have been as great and as successful as their impressive HDD selection, particularly among gamers. So we simply can't not talk about the blue line of products. As always, the color blue represents what all Western Digital blue devices are. Mainstream, all-around good, and affordable. To get a feel for its specs, you can go through the following mental exercise. Take the Samsung 860 EVO, lower the price per gigabyte, erase the 4 terabyte option, make it slightly faster, and voila, you've got yourself the WD Blue 3D NAND. Overall, its performance is just average, but average for an SSD is, again, still miles ahead of what any HDD has to offer. If you need a good SSD for gaming and don't want to condemn yourself to a diet compromised mostly of cup noodles, the WD Blue is a budget option that will not disappoint. And seeing as the price and quality are both excellent, we're sure you'll have nothing to complain about. In addition to SATA, it's also available in the M.2 variant. It's not the variant we're featuring on this list, but it does exist. So if you're looking for a more affordable M.2 SSD, this is definitely an option. And of course, we cannot talk about storage devices without mentioning Kingston. In fact, this video features two Kingston SSDs, the first of which is the Kingston A400. The A400 is an affordable solution that's rather limited in scope. It only comes in three storage options, and these are the 120GB, 240GB, and 480GB. Not very impressive, but we're okay with it since 1TB SSDs are bound to be expensive no matter how low the price per gigabyte is. 
and that does somewhat defeat the purpose of having a budget solution in the first place. If you plan on buying a smaller SSD for Windows and games while still relying on an HDD for everything else, then the A400 becomes much more appealing. So the only downsides that remain are the underwhelming write speeds. The read speed is 500 megabytes per second for all storage capacities, but the write speed for the 120 gigabyte and 240 gigabyte versions are 320 and 350 megabytes respectively. The 480 gigabyte version has a respectable 450 megabyte per second write speed, but this isn't the one you'll be getting if you want to have just enough SSD for Windows and games. Make of that what you will. We still think it's a great SSD, especially if you need it for casual use. The thing that really sets it apart is the shock and vibration resistance that it has, making it particularly good for use in laptops. Now, if you want a Kingston SSD that's more gaming oriented, check out the Kingston UV400. It looks almost identical to the A400 and it does share a lot of its features, but it improves upon that foundation in many ways. For starters, it's available in a 960 gigabyte option in addition to the three storage options that the A400 had. And while the write speeds again change from storage option to storage option, they're all around faster. The first two versions have write speeds of 350 and 490 megabytes per second respectively, and the other two share the speed of 500 megabytes per second. It also retains the shock and vibration resistance and low price per gigabyte, which is always a plus. Overall, we think that the Kingston UV400 is an incredible SSD for both laptops and PCs if you're buying the 240 gigabyte version. The 120 gigabyte version performs pretty much identically to the A400, and the larger capacity versions don't present as good a value as the Samsung 800. 160 EVO, as they both perform slightly worse and come with a warranty that's shorter by two years. Still, the 240GB version is just spectacular, especially for gaming laptops. Now, this wasn't a very extensive list, but nevertheless, sometimes having just two or three options to choose from can spell indecision, let alone five. So in order to help you decide on the SSD best suited to your needs, we've made this brief guide. There are actually two things that you need to take into consideration this time, and these are the storage capacity and the speed. The first thing you'll notice about storage capacity is that compared to how insanely large HDDs can get, SSDs seem downright diminutive. But we actually think that this is a good thing and something that we could embrace when shopping for an SSD. The main reason is that the way we see it, SSDs aren't meant for storage. Not only is it much more cost effective to get a small SSD to use as a system drive and a large HDD for storage, but it's genuinely better to do it this way as well. We've made a whole video where we compare SSDs and HDDs point by point, so check that out if you want to know more about this. But the truth of the matter is, HDD SSDs last longer than SSDs, and if we can play both of these storage types to their strengths, SSDs for speed and HDDs for storage, why shouldn't we? With this in mind, we recommend getting either a 250GB or 500GB SSD. 120GB just isn't enough for anything of substance once you install Windows on it, but anything more than 500GB is just plain excessive. Next up, let's look at speed. As we've already seen in this video, speeds can vary between different SSDs. Write and read speeds of around 500 megabytes per second are pretty much the norm, but we've, but we've also seen 350 megabytes per second outings. Is this something to be wary of? In all honesty, while there are no downsides to having a larger transfer speed, you aren't likely to notice the difference between a write speed of 350 megabytes and 550 megabytes per second, unless you're a professional. So we don't think that speed should play that large a role if you need an SSD for gaming, and especially if you just need one for casual use. On the other hand, we've seen some performances way up in the four-digit territory with the likes of the Samsung 960 Pro. So you might be thinking to yourself, that's gotta be awesome, right? Should I get that? Yes, it is supremely awesome. But also no, don't bother with it unless you're a professional. Seriously, there have been cases of people buying similar SSDs only to not have them set up properly, so they effectively perform just like your average SATA 3 SSD would. And the funny thing is, they didn't even know that the SSD 
SSD was performing four times slower than it should be. That is just how inconsequential it is to non-professional. Also, while we're on the topic, we'd only recommend getting an M.2 SSD if you need to fit it somewhere where a regular 2.5-incher won't fit. Again, this is advice for gamers and casual users. If you just want to know which of these SSDs we'd recommend the most, it's the Samsung 860 EVO. It doesn't cost a whole lot, it performs phenomenally well, and it's overall a great baseline. Plus, the 5-year warranty is just exceptional. So if you don't want to bother with finding a model whose specs were tailor-made for you, which is perfectly fine, as most of these differences don't matter all that much in the grand scheme of things, then get the Samsung 860 EVO. You won't regret it. Otherwise, we're sure this list, even with just 5 entries, has enough versatility to satisfy every user. And that just about does it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and make sure to share it if you find it helpful. Also, we've already made a video where we list the best HDDs you can get, so check it out if you're in need of a new HDD as well. The links to all the videos we've mentioned are in the description. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.